All right, guys, now this is how you actually fast track a GPU overclock, all right? Now we are liquid cooled, so we can just slap the core voltage to the max, power limit to the max, temp limit to the max. Now we hit apply. Now we are running a stress test in the background that generally use heaven benchmark. And as you, ca as you can see, we are at 53 degrees. At this point, it just starts ramping up the core clocks. We just go with 100 megahertz, see if it's stable. It's stable, 200 megahertz stable 250 megahertz because like I, I know that 300 is like insane uh well that's actually quite nice now let me try 275 it's actually going boys that's good how about we try 300 then it's going it's going with 300 that's quite impressive let me try 325. <laughs> All right, 300 is probably not stable if it crashed so bad at 325. So now let me just put a safe value here. And now let me restart the benchmark. Now at this point, we basically know that, you know, at least up to 300, it should be stable. But since it crashed quite hard, it means that probably it cannot do 300, but I am pretty positive that 275, all right. All right, I am pretty positive that 250 can be achieved by this card. So let's see if it takes 250 boys. Okay, now 250 seems to be stable. So now I'm just gonna save it on the profile one and then I just test it better later. And at this point I just go with memory. So I just reset the core to, you know, isolate variables. And now I start with 300 here. Took it, 500. Still took it. 700. Ah, all right, I see some artifacting. Let me try 600. All right, 600 is probably stable. So let me save it in the profile too. And now I'm just gonna write 250 here and see if they are both stable at the same time. And well, right now they are still going. So I guess I can just run a fire strike and see if they are actually stable.